So, uh, shall we proceed, distinguished panel? Okay. Um, why don't we start off uh, by talking about strategies for effective docket management? Is there anybody that would like to lead off and, uh, and discuss what their strategies are? Do you have are? one? Uh, I, I do. Send the cases out as fast as possible. Um, Judge Davidson? I'm going to go in second. The Texas experience, like most other Texas experiences, is a little different. Um, I have a statutory prohibition against trying more than one case at a time. I have um, a mandate to get every case to trial within six months. That's a, uh, every cancer and um, mesothelioma case to trial within six months. The philosophy of the Texas MDL is, not, is that it's not the job of judges or the judicial system to encourage settlements. It is, uh, that's the lawyer's job. It is our job to get cases to trial and to give people certain trial settings that will not be continued and will never go away. The effect of that is to settle a lot of cases, and everybody knows that here, but, um, but we don't hold settlement conferences. I don't order mediation, won't, never have, never will. What I, um, I'll, what I do is rule on motions as quickly as I can and um, get the cases to trial as quickly as I can, and that has the effect of reducing our total number of cases going to trial per year in the state to less than five. Okay. Um, well, we, right, out, right out of the box, I'm going to disagree because I do think that it's the court's duty um, to settle cases, and it's my failures that usually go into a courtroom. But I do also agree that part of the reason that we're successful at settling is the fact that we manage our docket and we get our cases to trial usually within 18 months of the time that they're filed, which is within the ABA standards. I'm in charge of the cases from the minute they're filed until I send them out to the nine judges that work on my team with me. Um, I do, we have short form complaints. There's a handout that you can all take with you that you see exactly what we do. We have our standard short form complaints. We have motions that are deemed filed by one defendant can be adopted by all of the others. Um, discovery is pretty much verbal. Um, I call my asbestos list every week, and if there's a problem, you can come and say, he won't give me a deposition, I'll say, give him the deposition. She won't answer my interrogatories, answer the interrogatories. Goodbye. And usually, if they, if they really want an order, they can hand it up, and I will be more than happy to sign it. Um, we just recently, I think it was in 2006, and that's in my packet, developed a, a standard asbestos case management order, and it was because I truly tried to keep as little um, in writing as I could, because it gave us the flexibility to try tons of creative ideas, and if they didn't work, we went back to the drawing board. The appellate court, however, decided that we needed a master order, so if somebody had a complaint, they could figure out what exactly the complaint was. We group our cases. We're in favor of consolidation. Um, I group them in groups of 10. Um, back in the day, as they say, we did 20 groups of 10 every month. We ran 200 cases through the system every single month. And if everybody was good and played the game properly, they got August and December off. Now we run usually no more than two groups a month. The plaintiff's attorneys, with the approval of the defense, group the cases. They're grouped a year in advance. They're given hard and fast trial dates, and if they don't settle, um, they go to trial, and that's pretty much how we do it. Well, if we're going to go in order, I think that New York is a lot more like Philadelphia than it is like Texas. Um, I'm kind of the new judge on the block uh, in New York, and um, from what I am seeing, um, the key is getting things out to trial as quickly as I can. Um, all cases basically come through my door. I handle all of the summary judgment motions. And what I'm trying to do is to do early settlements because we have quite a number of cases in New York. We have three dockets. We basically have an inactive docket, which is our deferred docket. Um, we have an active docket, which has certain medical requirements to get on that docket. And then we have an extremist docket, which basically you have to provide us with an affidavit that you will be deceased within the year. 
Um, we have some innovative concepts in New York. We actually have our own website. So if uh, someone thinks of something that we want everybody to know, we call up the webmaster and we say, webmaster, please put this notice out. And then everyone in New York within a few minutes uh, knows exactly uh, what's going on. We have a special master in New York who handles all discovery aspects. If the lawyers are not happy with the discovery aspect, then I get a motion and I have to review what has been decided. Uh, but I am convinced uh, that um, if we want to get to the show me the money concept, um, we have to schedule more cases for trial and get them out as quickly as we can. And I work with about six judges and we send them clusters of cases and then they take those cases, do all the eliminate motions, consolidation motions. But I think everybody at this table will agree until a case is really on trial. Um, the uh, group of defendants that do not wish to talk or do not wish to settle, um, we're not, nothing's going to happen until the, you see the jurors. Well, I will uh, defer to Judge McBride. Since I'm at the other end uh, of the spectrum, why don't we hear from Judge McBride and then I'll uh, join the discussion. Nice pass, Elio.